Hello dear all, my name is Kate and welcome, welcome to this channel. Today I am taking you to a fairy tale place, one of my favorite small towns here in Switzerland. Uh, we are still in St. Gallen, this is Canton of St. Gallen and the town called Buchs. It's one of the most magical toy towns uh, that are abundant here in Switzerland. We're going to visit the town itself, we're going to walk by a beautiful lake, and I'm going to tell you today about the castle. So a little bit of a fairy tale I think wouldn't hurt anyone. The town is surrounded by the gorgeous mountains, so that brings it a lot of beauty. Uh, there's a beautiful lake with ducks and swans. And there is a park around the lake, there are benches, you can sit and enjoy the view over the castle. So right now we are in the town within a town, so Werdenberg is a town in Bruchs and in the early stages of town's development it was just the stone wall erected around this city, protecting the city as always, and the market license was obtained. The medieval town of Werdenberg is one of the few surviving examples of such type in Europe today. It is listed as Switzerland heritage. The exhibition represents the castle itself and Schlange Haus, that's the one that you see right now. It's a 16th century house. Today it is a regional museum. There are a lot of important festivals. Some of them represent early music and new music, as well as audio and visual arts. There are a whole range of exciting events and the guided tours. It is particularly busy between April and October, but it's also quite exciting during the winter months. But if you want to visit some of the festivals and that take place here mostly between April and October. Most of the buildings here date back to 15th and 16th century, so very, very old town. A lot of them are still inhabited today. Those are normal houses where people live, but it's, to me, it seems more like an open air museum. There are a lot of nice coffee shops and restaurants here. If you're interested in the specifics of the stories of each building, sometimes there are signs right on the top of the building with interesting facts and legends about the history of the building. They're beautifully restored, colorfully decorated houses with verandas. In particular, we pointed out House of Schlange, its original museum. Um, it's the height of the experience for many. Originally, it was constructed in, 12, in 1261. The building was burned down in 1370 and then was rebuilt and finally extended in 1584. Today, it houses a museum. And obviously the height of the experience would be the mighty Grafen Castle and this castle, um, its origins date back to 13th century. It's a very beautiful residence and in 18th century it became a stately residence. And today it houses a museum. There is Lifestyle Museum, Canton of St. Gallen History Museum and Weapon Collection. 
tower affords an extensive view over the Rhine Valley, even if you don't go up to the tower, even from the premise of the castle, ac access to which is actually free, you can see the beautiful over view over the Alps and the lake and the town and the vineyards even. If you're more into outdoors, which I understand because I'm myself uh, quite a bit of a hiker, so there are a lot of leisure activities here and one of them would be hiking. There are 600 kilometers well signposted hiking path, so I think you'll never run out of those. There's a lot of skating and cycling routes. There's some mountain bike trails as well here. There are some mountains that are easily climbed to summits. If you're interested in that, there'll be plenty of opportunities for this kind of activities here. aspects of Swiss culture. Switzerland is extremely safe and <laughs> this is one of the proofs. You can see homemade jams here and there's a casse. Basically you see the price there, it was five francs and you would leave five francs, the coin, into the box named cashier or whatever and you can pick up a homemade jam. So it tells you quite a bit about how much Swiss trust each other. Switzerland is a very uh, very low abiding country and uh, it's pleasure to be here in that sense because you feel, I don't know, you feel protected, you feel safe and this kind of lovely things that you can actually buy. <laughs> Cheese sometimes is even sold like that. There are no people there. You just put the exact same amount as you're supposed to and you pick up whatever it is that you're after. And given the fact that it works, obviously tells you that it is the case that Swiss are honest and you can do business like that and that would be all that i wanted to share with you today thank you so much for joining i hope the video made you smile if it hasn't please smile now don't forget to subscribe and see you soon